Okay, so um, we built the project Let There Be. Um, so this was based on the collaboration day, um, session idea that we had. Um, so this is an idea that you might remember. So it's thank you. Um, so it's one quick best practice. So the idea is that it's quite annoying when you have to set up a new project and you want to have the best software sustainability practices. So you want version control, you want testing, you want documentation, but you have to set up all these different tools separately and it gets quite annoying and you can forget them very easily. And we want to make it really easy so no one has an excuse not to use these tools. So you want to make um, sure you can link your project to all these tools in as few clicks as possible. Um, so that's our idea. Okay, so um, this is what we did. Um, so we split the t uh, different tasks up um, between different people. So um, the main thing is implemented in a Python library on command line, and Tom did this. Um, we then have a website implementation, which these two did. Um, we have a cookie cutter wrapper, which kind of links the two. Um, and then I was working on documentation and not having any web development skills. Um, okay, so um, obviously as we're building a tool to um, promote software sustainability practices, we wanted to make sure that we use good software sustainability practices ourselves. Um, so everything was done in GitHub. Uh, we have unit testing using PyDotTest. Uh, we have continuous integration using Travis. We managed our project using GitHub Issues, Waffle.io, and we had hourly scrums. Um, we have full documentation in Read the Docs, and we communicated using both plain old whiteboard and Slack. Um, okay, so here's a little screenshot of our Waffle.io thing with all our issues. Um, here's a screenshot of our GitHub organization. So we split the project over three different repositories. Um, this is our main repository with um, uh, which shows all our files. Um, here's a screenshot of our documentation. So you can see we've got different things on installation, license, um, how to use, let there be, um, and all sorts. Um, okay, now on to the live demo, which I was going to do. Go, go, go. Quick switching. Go, 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 go. go. Oh, that way, that way. Okay. All right. Okay, so the package is installable by pip install let there be, so that actually works. Um, the uh, the idea of the package, just to explain very briefly, is that we have, since there's a number of different uh, services like GitHub and Bitbucket and things like that that uh, we want to interface to, uh, the idea is to make it very, very easy for people to, um, to write simple functions uh, that would do each of these pieces, and then there's a registry that puts all these together. Uh, and then there's a command line script, which I'm going to show now, which allows you to just run everything interactively. Okay, so I'm going to run uh, let there be, and uh, so that's the main command. You've been, for now, we'll, we've implemented one subcommand, which is quick start. Um, and so it asks you which service uh, would you like to use. Uh, so GitHub. Uh, so the, it's basically the, 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 um, the test. And then I'm not going to tell you the password. Okay, and then repo name. I'm going to do live demo. Um, and then uh, blah, there you go. So it asks you basically a series of questions. Then it asks you what language you're using, Python, my name is Tom, email address, obviously, and then uh, let there be test. Uh, project name is live demo, uh, short description, hello, uh, license, PSD, and then the version of the package is this. So what happens now is it's actually setting up the repo uh, and it's, co it's using cookie cutter behind the scenes uh, to actually generate the package template uh, with best practices, so have the directory for documentation, tests, etc. And then it's pushing all that to GitHub. Um, and then once it's done that, it's going to ask me if I want to set up certain services like Travis and, and uh, read the docs. Right now it doesn't actually do anything, so once I say yes, it's just going to pretend it's done it. Um, and the internet's a little bit slow, so there we go. Uh, so it says what services do you want to set up? And I just press enter and it's basically set up all these things. I can now, it gives instructions on actually accessing the repository. So I can go here on GitHub uh, and there you go. So this is the actual uh, Python package that's been generated. Um, and then uh, let's see. So then in principle, uh, you know, we can extend this so that it will automatically set up Travis, uh, read the docs at the uh, and things like that. Now I think there's one last component which is the website. Okay. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, oh God! 
Uh, we have a website version as well of that. The website is cool. <laughs>